हेलो माय डियर स्टूडियस एंड स्टूडियस स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ सर्जरी माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर महेश चौधरी आई एम वार्म वेलकमिंग यू इन माय सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज दिस सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज कंटेंट्स एंटायर सर्जरी विथ एनेसेशिया विथ रेडियोलॉजी विथ ऑर्थोपेडिक सो स्टे ट्यून विथ अस लेट स्टार्ट आवर सर्जरी लेक्चर सीरीज वेलकम आई डी स्टूडेंट्स इन अवर सर्जरी लेक्चर नंबर वन टू थ्री दैट इज द वन हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी थ्री रेडियोलॉजी इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल एक्सप्लोर द एक्स रे टेक्निक अल्ट्रासाउंड टेक्निक सी टी स्कैन एम आर आई एंड इंटरवेशनल रेडियोलॉजी इन द करंट सीनेरियो ऑफ द मेडिकल प्रैक्टिस एज वी नो द इम्पोर्टन्स ऑफ द रेडियोलॉजी फॉर डायग्नोसिस इन अवर मेडिकल फील्ड दैट इज द वेरी मच सो स्टार्ट विथ द एक्स रे फर्स्ट वी विल सी द हिस्ट्री वेलेम रेजेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ फिजिक्स in hersberg bavaria discovered x-ray in 1895 accidentally while testing whether cathode rays cloud pass through a glass his cathode tube was covered in heavy black paper so he was surprised when an incandescent green light nevertheless escaped and projected on to the nearby fluorescent screen through experimentation he found that the mysterious light would pass through most substances but leave shadows of solid objects because he did not know what the x the rays were he called them x meaning unknown rays roentgen quickly found that the x ray would pass through human tissues too rendering the bones and tissues beneath visible news of his discovery spread worldwide and within a year doctors in europe and united states were using x rays to locate gunshots bone fractures kidney stones and solid objects honors of his work poured in including the first nobel prize in physics in 1901 here is a picture of sir william roentgen who is the founder of the x-ray and revolutioner of the diagnosis in the medical field revolutioner person now the x-ray are a form or type of electromagnetic radiation x-ray imaging creates picture of inside of our body the images shows the parts of your body in different shades of black and white this is the because of different tissue absorb different amounts of radiation calcium in bones absorb x ray the most so bones look white fat and other soft tissues absorb less and looks gray air absorbs the least so lungs look black the most fami- familiar use of x ray is checking for fractures broken bones but x ray are also used in other ways for example chest x ray can spot pneumonia mammograms Use X-ray to look for breast cancer. When you have an X-ray, you may wear a lead apron to protect certain parts of your body. The amount of radiation you get from an X-ray is small. For example, a chest X-ray gives out a radiation dose similar to the amount of radiation you are naturally exposed to from the environment over 10 days. Similarly to visible light unlike light however x-ray have higher energy and can pass through most objects including the body medical x-ray are used to generate images of tissues and structures inside the body if x-ray is traveling through the body also pass through an x-ray detector on the other side of the patient an image will be formed that represent the shadow formed by the objects inside the body now how do x-ray works one type of x-ray detector is a photographic film but there are many other types of detectors that are used to produce the digital images the x ray images that results from this process are called radiographs now how do medical x ray works to create a radiograph a patient is positioned so that the part of the body being imaged is located between an x ray source and an x ray detector when the machine is turned on x ray travels through the bony and are absorbed in different amounts by different tissues depending on the radiological density of the tissues they pass through radiological density is determined by both the density and the atomic number the number of the protons is an atom's nucleus of material being imaged for example structures such as the bone contain calcium which has a higher atomic number than most tissues because of this property bone really absorbs x-rays and thus produce high contrast on the x-ray detectors and shadow the white color as a result bony structures appear whiter than other tissues against the black background of the radiograph conversely x-ray travels more easily through less radiologically dense tissues such as fat and muscles as well as through air filled cavities such as the lungs these structures are displayed in shades of gray on a radiograph dear students here is the image how the x-ray works and image the radiographs 
the cathode and electrons anode focus and x-ray being passed through the body tissues and radiograph is taken on the film this is the another image showing the x-ray de diffraction technique the x-ray tube is there the lead screen and crystalline solid like dna and photographic plate is there and between the the, the, the patient should be positioned and spot from the diffracted x-rays spot from the x-ray beam when are the medical x-ray used listed below are example for the examination and procedure that use x-ray technology to either diagnose or treat the disease diagnostic x-ray radiography detects bone fractures certain tumors and other abnormal masses pneumonia some types of injuries calcifications foreign objects and dental problems etc now the mammography a radiograph of the breast that is used for the cancer detection and diagnosis tumors tend to appear as regular or irregular shaped masses that are somewhat brighter than the background on the radiograph that is the whiter on the back, black background on backer on the white background mammograms can also detect tiny bits of the calcium called microcalcifications which show up as very bright specks on the mammograms while usually benign microcalcifications may occasionally indicate the presence of the specific type of cancer now CT computer tomography combines traditional x-ray technology with the computer processing to generate a series of cross sectional images of the body that can later be combined to form a three dimensional x-ray images CT images are more detailed than plain radiographs and give doctors the ability to view the structure within the body from many different angles then fluoroscopy uses x-ray and a fluorescent screen to obtain a real time images of movement within the body or to view diagnostic processes such as the following the path of an injected or solid contrast agent for example fluoroscopy is used to view the movement of, of beating heart and with the aid of the radiographic contrast agent to view blood flow to the heart muscles as well as through blood vessels and organs this te technology is also used with a radiographic contrast agent to guide an internally threaded catheters during cardiac angioplasty which is the minimally invasive procedure for opening clogged arteries that supply blood to the heart now the therapeutic use radiation therapy in cancer treatment x-ray and other types of high energy radiation can be used to destroy the cancerous tumors and cells by the damaging their dna the radiation dose used for the treating cancer is much higher than the radiation dose used for the diagnostic imaging therapeutic radiation can come from a machine outside of the body or from a radioactive material that is placed in the body inside or near tumor cells or injected into the blood stream are there is a risk by using the x-ray when used the appropriately the diagnostic benefits of x-ray scans significantly outweigh of the risk x-ray scans can diagnose possibly life threatening conditions such as a blocked blood vessels bone cancer and infections however x-ray produce ionizing radiation a form of radiation that has a, the potential to harm living tissues this is a risk that increases with the number of exposures added up over the life of the individuals however the risk of the developing cancer from radiation exposure is generally small and x-ray in a pregnant woman poses no known risk to the baby if the area of the body being imaged isn't the abdomen or pelvis in general if imaging the abdomen and pelvis is needed doctors prefer to use exams that do not use radiation such as mri or ultrasound however if neither of those can provide the answers needed or there is an emergency or other time con constraint an x-ray may be an acceptable alternative imaging option children are children are more sensitive to ionizing radiation and have a longer life expectancy and thus a higher relative risk for developing the cancer than adults parents may want to ask the technologists or doctors if their machine setting have been adjusted for children now first in the radiology the ultrasound introductions now we will see in details regarding the ultrasound introduction it is an important radiologic modality using the principle of the high frequency sound waves in 1880 Curie described the piezoelectric effect and 1872 Kosop demonstrated the gray scale in United States the principles of the ultrasound are high frequency sound waves 1 to 10 mhz megahertz are passed into the body via a transducer these waves get variably reflected at various points of acoustic mismatch that is the liver and kidney or vessels and parenchyma at these acoustic interfaces interfaces some waves get reflected and some pass through the delineate deeper structures this is the technique behind the ultrasound and dear students here is the image of the ultrasound machine the reflected waves are picked up by the transducer and converted 
to electric energy this is then sent through a computer to produce a gray scale image the time taken for an echo to travel away from and then back to the transducer determines its depth on the images the amplitude of the echo determines its intensity hypoechoic isoechoic and hyperechoic etc now the transducer works on the piezoelectrical effect it in certain substances when electrical energy passes through they vibrate at a specific frequency and vice versa parameters are real time display the image is seen on the monitor it is happening b mode this is the usual gray scale mode used m mode used in echocardiography now the advantage advantages cheap quick besides and portable examinations easily possible using special transducer various areas of the body can be probed easily no ionizing radiation used so no risk of radiation disadvantages of this techniques are operator dependent on the machine decrease inter observer reproducibility cannot image through bone and gas therefore the lungs brain except neonate joints etc cannot be scanned small field of view contraindications of ultrasonography are no known contraindication save for the fetus and adult patient too indications obstetrics for evaluation of the fetus and pregnancy as well as other first trimester problems gynecology for evaluation of diseases of the uterus cervix and adnexy for the abdominal for evaluation of the abnormalities of the liver gallbladder spleen pancreas adrenal kidneys and for seeing the fluid collections ascites and lymph nodes in the male pelvis for evaluation of the bladder and prostate chest for evaluation pleural effusion skull neonatal for brain abnormalities scanning through the anterior frontally orbit for occurs and retroocular abnormalities thyroid for thyroid and parathyroid masses scrotum hydrocil testicular masses and varicocil orthopedics for rotator cuff tears joints effusion in the hip and elbow cdh tendon ruptures etc these are the indications of the ultrasonography now the recent advances are in the ultrasound technique that is the doppler pulse doppler and color doppler transsector ultrasonography transvaginal ultrasonography endoscopic ultrasonography now the next radiological examination are computer tomography that is the ct scan introduction first ct scanning revolutionized the practice of radiology immediately its introduction joffrey honsefield and ambrose conducted the first clinical trials in 1970 71 and it was introduced for practical use in 1972 honsefield was awarded the nobel prize in 1979 and is considered the father of modern radiology the principle behind the computer tomography are the scanner consists of an x-ray source on one side of the body and detectors on the other after the x ray emerges from the body the detectors quality the exist radiation this information is feed into the computer which assigns the specific densities to a specific areas which are the proportional to the number of the photons in the exit beam that at that area this area in is the pixel and smallest unit of the image the more the pixels the better is the image quality dear students here is a picture of the ct scan machine you can see on your screen this is the technique of the ct scan the x ray tubes on the circle and uh, on the detector and the, uh, on the table the patient being positions and the ct scan is doing the third generation of the ct scanner here is a, another image now the classifications based on the way of the tube moves first and second rotate and translate third rotate only with the fixed tube and detectors and the fourth is the rotate only with fixed detector ring and moving tube dear students here is a good image in this slide showing the direction of the x-ray tube motion and fan and beam the patient is lying on the table ring of the static detector is there continuously rotating density scale honsefield units various tissues densities can be measured on a scale where zero is water minus 1000 air plus 1000 bone blood 50 to 80 calcium minus 80 to 200 and fat 0 to minus 100 contrast administration oral contrast may be given for abdominal studies to delineate the bowel loop intravenous contrast is routinely given to produce the differential enhancement between the various tissues advantages of this technique ct techniques are improved the contrast resolution between tissues not previously visualized on plain radiography that is the liver gallbladder etc short examination time that is the 15 minutes with newer machine ability to display cross sectional images in the axial plane and sometimes in the coronal plane multiplanar reconstructions are possible from the axial slices to give a better idea of the disease 
compared to MR, severely ill and injured patient can be easily imaged with the life support equipments in place. Disadvantages of the CT techniques, expensive ionizing radiation involved, complication with the use of intravenous iodinated contrast media, the use of the oral contrast for abdominal and pelvis studies increase the total amount of time for the patient to be spent in the department. Contraindications related to radiation, related to contrast medium, severely claustrophobic patient, claustrophobic that is the morbid fear of closed places, indications, head, temporal bone, base of the skull and neck, face, chest, abdomen, male and female pelvis and orthopedics. Recent advantages in the CT techniques are three-dimensional CT, three-dimensional uh, images of bony structures are obtained normally in congenital and traumatic cardiofacial abnormalities, complex trauma as in the acetabulum shoulder and ankle, high-resolution CT using a bone along with and thin 1 to 2 mm slices extremely high detail sections are obtained used in the temporal bone imaging long parenchyma imaging for interstitial disease and for the evaluation of bronchiectasis third recent advantage of the ct technique is the osteo ct measures the bone mineral density of the vertebral bodies and is useful in the evaluation of the osteopenia Osteopenia means the reduce the bone mass due to the decrease in the rate of the osteoid synthesis to a level insufficient to compensate for more normal bone lysis. Spiral CT. This is the modality whereby an entire volume such as the chest or abdomen can be scanned in a very short time such as 20 to 40 seconds. Axial coronal and sagittal sections are then uh, retrospectively. This first acquisition allows single breath hold images to be obtained. CT angiography is also possible using specialized software. Now the next radiological technique is the MRI magnetic resonance imaging. Introduction MRI is a modality which uses the principle of the resonance of protons in the magnetic field. Domedian and Lutherberg described the potential of MR for magnetic resonance for obtaining the images of various parts of the body. The principle behind the MRI of this technique the first requirement is of atoms which have magnetic movements, a property which can be acquired only if they possess an add atomic number and an unpaired electrons. C13, F19 and N23 possess this property as doses the H proton. Since the H proton is the most abundant proton in the body, the magnetic resonance is turned to the resonating frequency of this proton. The nuclei are aligned by placing the patient is a larger powerful static magnetic field. Dear students, here is a picture on your screen. You are watching the technique and the machine of the MRI. This is the technique being used in the MRI magnetic resonance imaging Z axis. This is the another picture showing the MRI scanner Qtabi. Patient is lying on the table and there is a patient table, radio frequency coil, gradient coils and magnet and the scanner is there. This is the randomly oriented protons. The protons normal position and aligned along static field. And RF radio frequency pulse is then applied and these protons are flipped by 90 or 180 degrees depending on the type of the pulse. Proton flipped by 90 degrees due to a second magnetic field. Proton flipped by 90 degrees due to the second magnetic field. After the RF pulse is removed, since the proton are still in the static magnetic field, they have to possess, process back to the normal energy state and alignment. The proton processing back to the align along static magnetic field after RF pulse is removed. This is the clearly seen in this image. Now the proton processing back to align along static magnetic fields after RF pulse is removed. When they do so, they event radio frequency signals which are detected by the computer and which on the basis of the intensity and the location are assimilated to produce a grayscale image. There are two methods of relaxation, T1 longitudinal relaxation and T2 transverse relaxation. The advantages of these techniques are no ionizing radiation is used. Images can be taken in any conceivable plane, sagittal, coronal, and axial plane is to be taken. The inherent contrast between the various tissues is better than with other modalities. Tissues characterization is possible by the manipulating various MR parameters. Disadvantages of this MRI techniques are this is the expensive technique, ex extremely sensitive to motion, anti facts and poor quality examination may occur due to movement, cannot pick up small calcification, patient with various metallic implants may not be able to undergo EMR examinations, acutely ill 
and injured patients cannot undergo MR exams due to the problems of motion and metallic life support equipment. Claustrophobia can lead to inability to examine the patients. Now the indication for this MRI, current state of the art, brain, spine, joints, bones, chest, abdomen and pelvis. Contraindications, claustrophobia, acutely ill and injured patient, patient with the pacemaker, lead, aneurysm, clips, etc. Orthopedic implants such as the plates, screws and rods are not contraindications. Now the recent advantages in the MR techniques that is the MR angiography used for obtaining the pictures of the vessels as in conventional angiograms currently used as a screening tool for disease of the carotid bifurcation and in the intracranial circle of the willis. And second recent advantage is the MR spectroscopy. This is the method for mapping out the various biochemical peaks of the various substances in tissues so as to obtain the biological tissue information. Now the next point of this lecture is the interventional radiology. Introduction Interventional radiology is a branch which uses the various radiological modalities to intervene into the body and to treat the disease processes using percutaneous minimally invasive methods. Indications for interventional radiology are for vascular, angioplasty for stenosis, occlusions, etc., balloon occlusions, aneurysm, embolization aneurysms, AVMS, tumors using coils, jump foam, chemotherapeutic agents, etc., stenting, stenosis, and occlusions. In the vascular system, this interventional radiology plays a great role. In non-vascular, first is the drainage, percutaneous nephrostomy for hydronephrosis, percutaneous cholecystectomy for gallbladder dilatation, etc., etc., biliary drainage for obstruction jaundice, abscess collection, etc., stenting, strictures, urethral and esophageal biliary tract, uh, dilatation of the plastics like strictures, benign enlargement of prostate, biopsies from any accessible organs and tumors in the body. Modalities used for the, the interventional radiology, fluoroscopy, X-ray machine with image intensifier or a digital subtraction machine. For all vascular procedures, drainage, stenting and dilatations, biopsies like chest and spine, ultrasonography, drainage and biopsy, CT, drainage and biopsies, contraindications, abdominal bleeding profile for all vascular procedures and procedures involving the liver etc. should be performed. In experience, candidate should not be performed the interventional radiology. Organ specific uh, that is the severe empyema for lung biopsy. Advantages of the interventional radiology are the less invasive than surgery, less expensive, less mo mobility and hospital stay, visualization of procedure in detail and disadvantages of this interventional radiology may be a temporary measure require an expensive departmental setup. Dear students, here I try to explain the importance and revolutionize of the radiology in the field of the medical science. For details, you should refer the textbook of the radiology in these regards to clear your concept. And there are very good videos on the YouTube of the CT scan, MRI, X-ray and ESG techniques. You can watch it to clear your concept. Here is the end of our surgery lecture number 123, that is the radiology. Thank you.